Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a massive metal drum sound for free. So let's hop in. Awesome, so huge sound we got here, and let's get into how we made it. So I have everything located in this drums folder here, but to help you guys out, I'm gonna build it from scratch. So first thing we're gonna do is download and install ML Drums free. I'm gonna leave the link for that in the description below to make it easy for you guys. And once you download that, we're gonna add an instrument track right here. We're gonna type in ML Drums. We're gonna add that in. Here's our kit. We got a Left Crash, Hi-Hat, China, and Ride. Shells sound really good off the bat. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our MIDI map. So I just have a little preset. I've already kind of skipped this process for you guys. Uh, so this is just my custom drum map that I prefer. And now what I'm gonna do is paste my MIDI onto the clip. And now I'm just gonna change my drum map over to my preferred map. Uh, perfect, so this is a GM map. It's gonna have those diamonds. So that's what I prefer to program in, like this. And let's listen to what this sounds like. So off the bat, these sound really good. Uh, definitely can't complain with that. Um, we're gonna make a couple tweaks here in the mixer. I'm gonna turn the overheads down to minus 7.4, room down to 5.3, master uh, can stay the same, ride. Pretty much everything else can stay the same. Although we are gonna mess with this a bit. So what we're gonna do to get more flexibility because there's only one kick and snare sample is we're gonna turn these way down so I'm gonna turn this down to about minus 17 for the kick and about the same for the snare, like minus 16. And then now what we'll have is a very roomy kick and snare. Now what we're gonna do is add some custom one shots of our choosing to help this drum sound out. So for that, we're gonna add another instrument track. We're gonna load up Groove Agent like that. And then we're gonna throw some one shots on here. So I'm gonna hook you guys up with these custom ones I made for this video. So I'm loading in a snare hard hit, which is called snare plasma hard, and then snare plasma soft, which is like a ghost note velocity. And for the kick sound, I'm gonna drag in this kick roomy blend sample, which will also be available for you guys. If you don't wanna use these samples, feel free to use your own out of your library. Um, these samples I just found work really good in this mix. Then after that, we're gonna turn up the kick a bit Turn that up about 8 dB. Turn up the snare ghost a little bit too. And we can leave the snare hard where it is. So now we have the ML drums and our one shots. Now how do we go about triggering these both off of one MIDI track? Because I really don't wanna to have to do this thing where you copy it down every time you make a drum change. So what we're gonna do is load up a MIDI track and then we're gonna put the MIDI on this and I'm just gonna change the drum map so it matches up, perfect. And now what we're gonna do is go to MIDI sends. We're gonna send our MIDI to the name of the track, which is ML Drums YT MIDI input, there you go. And we're also gonna send it to our one shots. So we'll go here, one shots. So this is what we have for a drum sound. So now what I'm gonna do is route both of these to a drum bus. And now we're gonna route it to the instrumental bus. Now key thing here, we have ghost notes triggering the snare hard and we don't want that. We're gonna take these and just pop them down to C sharp one, which is where we set our ghost note hit to and then it'll sound a lot better. So yeah, everything's really loud right now. Let's kind of balance it out. Let's turn down the kick a bit. And now to get more control, what we're gonna do is open up Groove Agent again, and we're gonna multi out these. So we can leave the kick on one. Snare, we're gonna output to two. So assign output, set it to out two. And do the same thing here, out two. So we're not gonna be able to hear those, and that's because we have to go over here to the inspector 
and activate the output. So if that's not on, then you just want to turn it on. And there we are. So yeah, we can see this is peaking a little bit. So I'm just going to drag the fader down a bit. We can even drag the pre-gain. Symbols are a little bit quiet here, so we're going to turn up the overheads. And yeah, the kick's a bit loud too, we're going to turn that down. And now what we're going to do is add some reverb to the snare. So I'm going to add a effects track. I'm going to load up just a stock Cubase reverb. Uh, which is called Roomworks. I'm just gonna load up a Roomworks SE and we're gonna set the reverb time pretty short around 0.7. Turn the mix all the way up. Turn it down a bit. Another thing too, you just wanna make sure everything's sending to your drum bus. So we got so the snare sending there, the kick sending there, and also the ML drums are sending there. And we can also send the Roomworks. So I'll call this snare verb. Now one last thing you can just throw on your drum bus. I really like using this plugin G Clip. This is also free. I'll link this in the description. So this is literally just cutting off any harsh transients that exceed this threshold right here. And if we really overdo it, you can hear what it does. It really kind of distorts the audio. And the cool thing about clipping is technically I just made this way quieter in terms of the peak level. So it's at minus 9.4, but when I turn it all the way back up, there's no change in volume, but Technically there is. So now the peak level is at zero, but just by shaving off those transients, we can clear up a lot of headroom. So I'm just bringing this clip down. And it adds some saturation, makes the drum sound fatter. So I really recommend this plugin. And there you have it, a free drum sound, costs zero dollars. Let's give it another final listen through. <laughs> Awesome guys, so if you want these samples, check out the link in the description for my Patreon. They'll be available on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.